So I've just finished painting the hull uh, below the waterline and I thought I'd make a little video just to show the method that I used and um, all the products I've used as well. Uh, going from the start I've uh, sheathed the bottom with uh, fiberglass uh, so it's 200 gram plain weave glass up to this line um, which I put on with uh, West Epoxy resin. Um, next thing after that was uh, the fairing compound so I just covered it in um, the low density fairing compound that West make um, which is just a powder basically that you add to the resin um, once all that was cured I flatted all that back by hand just with a long board sander the next thing after that was a primer I'm uh, using a Jotun primer called uh, Pengard HB which is a two part epoxy primer um, I had to thin that 30% to spray it on uh, so I'm just using a standard spray gun basically um, so I did two coats of that and um, then flatted that back with 320 grit paper just using a DA sander uh, after that was the top coat um, which is a Jotun paint again uh, it's called Hard Top AX um, a two part top coat and I thinned that 20% and uh, sprayed that on I um, wasn't overly happy with the finish initially so um, what I did was flatted that back off again with 500 grit this time and then sprayed um, this this coat that you can see now um, I thinned that a little bit more about 30% actually and uh, this is just how it came out of the gun so um, it's quite good really there's a few little marks in it and stuff from bits of dust landing on it but it's uh, it's pretty nice finish actually quite happy with it um, it's nice and hard as well the paint it's been on here two days and um, it's sort of it won't take a, a thumbprint anymore so it's it's gone off quite quickly and it's only around 10 degrees in the workshop at the moment it's quite cold so all things considered it's it's drying pretty quick um, as soon as it's gone off I think I'll be turning it over so there we go that was uh, that was my paint method for the hull just thought I'd add on that um, the next next step for the boat basically is going to be to varnish the top sides. Um, I'm going to do that once I've turned it over and put the deck on. Um, so I'll varnish down to this line here, um, and then once the varnish is finished, I'm going to put a small uh, white stripe which will go over where the two join. So that will be the uh, the final finish on it. 